I'll let you go. Camera down. Don't touch me. Don't you touch me. Get away from me. You touch me again. I will touch you. Back off now. Go ahead, Back. Back away. Give me my stuff. You're off your jurisdiction. Never met someone like me, have you? Have you? Yeah, I met lots of uh, I don't think so. You're very professional, Hudson. Yes, What's your badge number? You want my name? You want my name? No, we'll get your name shortly. That's all right. I really don't. Dude, stop backing me up. Don't no, touch me. Dude, stop telling. You, you pointed a weapon at me. No, I'm not. You're bad. You you're your finger at me. Stop That's coming at me. Who's the supervisor? Are you, Hudson? Get off the property. I'm not on the property. You're on. You're touching me again. He's assaulting me into the street. He's pushing me into the street. Hello, and welcome back to Legal Descent, where we evaluate your constitutional rights before they're taken away. Thank you all for the love and support that I've received over the past few weeks. Surgery went well, and the prognosis is looking great. I'm so happy to finally be able to create new content for you, and we are planning on getting back into the regular schedule starting today. As always, if you enjoy our content, please do consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and interacting with us in the comments below. Links to the original videos, case law, statutes, and any other sources we use can be found along with our contact information if you have videos you'd like us to evaluate in the description below. Press New Hampshire Now is filming the exterior of the Department of Homeland Security's building in South Portland, Maine a little over a month ago. As the auditor approaches the door, an officer confronts the auditor. Boys only. Sorry, sir. I'll let you go. Camera down. Don't touch me. Don't you down. touch me. Get off the You better property. call Federal Protective Services. Get off Get the property. Don't touch me. Get off No, the this property. is federal property. I have a right to be here. Back off now, you Hudson. Have you have Back no off now. I have every right to be here. There's a DHS memo that says I could. What Back off of me now. Back agency? off. This is my right to be here and record. Back off of me now. You touch get me, you're going to get a federal lawsuit put on you. Good. Don't touch Go. me. Go. Call a supervisor. Get away from me. You touch me again. I will touch you. Back off now. Go ahead, bitch. Back off of me. Bitch, you just call me a bitch? Seriously, no, Hudson? Call you a bitch. Back off now. Don't touch me. me. Get out. You're going to get a federal lawsuit. There's a DHS memo saying I could be here. You Stop now. Here. Back off you of me now. Stop left. touching me. Help. 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 Back off of me now, Hudson. Yeah. Back off of me. Offensive? Don't touch me now. You Stop have... touching me. You're assaulting me, sir. You're assaulting me. Back off of me. You better get his supervisor now. Now, there's a DHS memo saying I could be here on federal property. Back off. You can be here if you have business. I don't have to give you any of my business. Back off of me now. Back away. Give me my stuff. You're off your jurisdiction. Really? Now get off my You're a piece of Hudson. Get, get the away from me now. Well, get away from me. You just assaulted me. Go and get a federal officer now. Get a federal officer now. Warner, you better back your dog off now. You better back him off now. He has no jurisdiction here. He has no jurisdiction here. You are, you are way past your legalities now. You're done. You assaulted me. I'm filing a lawsuit against you, Hudson. It has been established the public has a right to record what they can see from public property. We've discussed this in great detail in prior videos. Federal property and even property operated by the Department of Homeland Security is not necessarily exempt from the rules that govern other types of property. The Second District of New York evaluated this in Musa Meki versus the Department of Homeland Security back in 2010. The case actually settled before going to court and it eventually led to a memo being published by the DHS to its employees about the filming of public buildings. Disclaimer. Your right to film public buildings does not originate from a memo created by DHS. Remember, this memo is not a law, it is not authoritative, and it is not necessarily binding on government agents. However, it is a good indicator of what the government believes would be the result if a case like this 
actually went to court and what our rights truly are. So what does this memo say? The version that is accessible to public eyes is highly redacted, but states that there are currently no general security regulations prohibiting exterior photography of any federally owned or leased building absent a written rule or regulation. So it's important for any auditor to do their research before conducting an audit. Ensure that there are no local rules or regulations that prevent your right to film. Even if you disagree with that rule or regulation, there are some limited exceptions that courts have found to be valid, and you can get in trouble. The memo goes on to remind DHS employees that absent a criminal predicate, photography and videotaping is a First Amendment protected activity. It goes on to discuss the current rules for filming inside of federally owned properties. However, because Press New Hampshire Now did not enter the building, I feel that it's irrelevant. I was not able to find any local rules or regulations that prevented him from filming in this location, and in my opinion, Press New Hampshire Now was doing nothing wrong. And the 0 to 100 conduct of the officer is completely reprehensible and a violation of the auditor's rights. The name calling by the officer, the physical violence instigated by the officer, the seizure of property by the officer, and the wanton disregard for the well-being of the seized property by throwing it into the street is simply disgusting. This is not how law enforcement should conduct themselves, and it is embarrassing that this man is allowed to wear a badge. The encounter continues for over a half hour, with the auditor and the officer trading insults and yelling at each other. But we'll skip ahead to when Inspector Craig Hamill shows up to investigate. How you doing? Are you the supervisor? Uh, no, I'm not the supervisor. Can I have your name, badge number, please? Yeah, sure. It's, uh, I need EMTs number. here now, please. I need EMTs here now. What's, what's the problem? There have been multiple assaults from Hodson over there, okay? I have every right to be on this property to document my federal property, okay? There's a DHS memo stating I could be here. It's 2018. Yep. States I can record and film on federal property as long as I am not in a restricted area. Yeah. Are you aware of it? Yeah. Um, Thank you, sir. Will you film it through the window? Though? No, You're sir. Okay. I could film anything I can see on public property, on federal property, as long as I'm not in a restricted area. Yeah. I have not crossed those lines. Now I'm being surrounded by all these officers. Hodson over there has assaulted me several, several times. Okay? Just, okay? All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak to them. So no. Just take it easy. Do you, are you injured? My arm is hurting, yes. Okay, so you want me to call you? Yes, I do. Okay, all right. Do Thank you. What's your name and badge number, please? Uh, it's 155. I'm Inspector Craig Hamill. Craig Hamill? Yeah. Are you a supervisor? No, I'm not a supervisor. I'm with, I'm with Federal Protective Service. Are you higher than these gentlemen? No? You're the most cordial, though, right? You are. You haven't assaulted me yet. All right, just uh, sit tight, all right? Yeah. You, you call the EMTs? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Can Thank I you. Talk to you over here? Yeah, on federal property? Yeah, yeah of course we can. Just take it easy. Okay? No, that's all right. My lawyer's going to hear about this. No worries. Okay. It's so, bullshit. So pull up, I want you to pull up the DHS memo, first of all. Uh, I don't have it with me. So well, there's definitely a copy in there. So, why do you come over here? What's, what's your name, sir? I'm not giving my name's right here. Uh, right here. No, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to need your name because I was called here for an incident. So Great. I need your name. Yeah, and I've been assaulted multiple times by your offices over here. They're not my office. Well, the federal okay. police. I understand you had had some trouble with them, but I need, I need your name because I was called here for an incident. No, sir. It's not going to happen. I haven't committed any crime. So. Well, you're not free to leave then. I'm going to have to detain you. For what, for what crime, sir? For failure to identify yourself. Yeah, for what crime? You have to articulate a crime first. Stay right here. Are you detaining me? Yeah. On what grounds? Yeah. On what on what crime? What crime? He's saying his arm is injured. For what crime? Just, just, no, you need to articulate your crime for a detainment. I'm investigating this incident right now. For what crime? Because I got a call. For what crime? Disorderly conduct. That disorderly conduct? I've been assaulted several times by your officers and backed up onto the street because of him. I am not disorderly. He is. I was quietly exercising my rights. Quietly exercising my rights. Until I was assaulted by your Hudson over there. Yeah, all right. Just wait right here. Yeah. Right back. I called the ambulance for you. Right? I appreciate that much, at least, because I am injured from that gentleman over there. So just, have, have, just wait for my vehicle. Please. I'll wait right here. I'm not free to leave? 
I need to get your am I am I free to leave? No, I just called an ambulance for you. Oh, I am I free to leave under what threat of arrest? I need to get your information. That's what threat of arrest? Right. What crime have I committed, sir? You're legally detaining me or unlawfully detaining me, sir? I can see this is going to be difficult. Yeah, it already is. He's assaulted me about 10 to 15 times. Everything's on camera and it's live streaming. You asked me to leave the property. I don't care. You have no authority to tell me to leave the property when I'm recording and exercising my First Amendment right per order of your DHS memo. How is it that I know more of it than you do? No, I know that. My lawyer knows that too. I've committed no crime. That officer right there has assaulted me several times. Several times. Back me up into the street. For what, sir? I'm just standing right here. I'm not going onto federal property anymore. I gotta, tell, I gotta tell you, okay? So, if you don't give me your identification. I have not committed a crime. Under threat of arrest, I will give you my information. For what? For disorderly conduct. You're going to cite me for disorderly conduct? Yes. So if you don't give me your identification, yep. I'm going to have to physically arrest you and take you in the For country. disorderly conduct? Yes. So under threat of arrest? Well, failure, failure to comply with a federal officer. Okay. So, and, and I'm not disagreeing with you right now, okay? Okay. I want to get all my rights sure. in order. So, so if you give me your ID, I you won't be arrested, but you'll be cited and you'll be free to leave, okay? If you refuse to give me your identification, I'm going to arrest you for failure to comply with a lawful order. You will? Yes. Okay. okay. Um, it's up to you. So you give me a choice? Yes, absolutely. Other than that, I will be arrested. Yeah, if you cooperate with me, you'll just be given a citation. You'll be free to go. At this point, Press New Hampshire now concedes and gives his name and date of birth. He was cited for disorderly conduct and eventually let go. Disorderly conduct in Maine is defined in Chapter 21, Section 501, Subsection A and states that a person is guilty of disorderly conduct if in a public place the person intentionally or recklessly causes annoyance to others by intentionally making loud and unreasonable noises, activating a device that releases noxious and offensive odors, or engaging in fighting without being licensed or privileged to do so. This statute requires an individual to be in a public place making loud and unreasonable noises. While the auditor was indeed loud, I don't believe that the noises he was making was unreasonable, as the officer was physically pushing him into the road, grabbing his property, and conducting himself in a way that would make most people protest in a loud manner. I personally do not believe that the auditor is guilty of disorderly conduct. However, this is a great reminder of how silence is your friend in these types of encounters. If he had used his right to remain silent, what kind of case could they even begin to make? Now, would they have kept scraping the bottom of the barrel until something stuck? Potentially, and even probably. But that still does not mean that you should not exercise your right to remain silent. Press New Hampshire now did deliver his intent to sue and is proceeding with a federal lawsuit. I hope he continues down this path as I believe he has a solid case. What do you think? Was the officer justified in shoving him into the road? Did the auditor talk too much? Let us know in the comments below and remember that no matter who you are, you have value and you have rights. Do not be afraid to use them and we'll see you next time right here on Legal Descent.